Wide stretches of pristine Maui Beach getting smaller with each passing year. U.S. News and World Report just rated Maui as the top U.S. vacation destination, but of course we know no more beach, no more ranking. KITV4's Mike Cherry went to Maui and found it's getting to the point where some tough decisions need to be made. Well, this is my office. Uh, I've been on this property for over 20 years, and over that time since this building was built, this area between what is now the high water mark just on the other side of these trees used to be another 30 feet out there and there were palm trees out beyond this area right here. Jim Hens is witness to a battle he knows he can't win. He spent four decades on West Maui and remembers when he used to run from Kaanapali to Kahana Beach. Thanks to erosion, those days are long gone. Nature is relentless, but man hasn't helped. They built that seawall in 1974, and since that time, there has been accelerated erosion in this part of the beach. Hence, says in the late 70s, managing shoreline property was like the Wild West. Owners took any and all measures to protect their own property, no matter what it did to everyone else's. As bad as things are at the sands of Kahana, they're even more dire at the Hololani. That's where Hence estimates that they've lost nearly three times the amount of sand since seawalls like this one went up 41 years ago. The seawalls are very problematic in the sense that um, they tend to create a series of erosion problems. So when you fix one area, everything transfers out of the next property to the next property, and those start eroding quickly. So it creates a greater problem for those down the line. So how do you fight erosion? Ultimately, you don't. Erosion is happening at about three to five feet per year at the Kahana properties. Rebuilding the coastline every five to ten years could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and might be delaying the inevitable. Do we allow the ocean to take the buildings now? Or do we expend the funds to try and protect them for the limited time that we can protect them? Maui Mayor Alan Arakawa is looking for answers. In his budget, Arakawa allocated $180,000 for a study to find a solution that's environmentally and fiscally sound. He needs Kahana property owners to match that amount. From uh, a, a community standpoint, if we're going to be the ones that are going to have to be able to uh, foot the bill, then we certainly need to know what the options are. It's, it's a very hard um, decision to have to make because nobody wants to see anybody's home or, or building succumb to the ocean. And that can happen on Maui. Years ago, a restroom in Paia fell into the ocean. Maui County rebuilt the facility further back from the shoreline. With a heavier-than-expected hurricane season on the horizon, who knows what kind of damage could be unleashed. If that occurs, the coastline could be completely inundated and all that sand and the, these condo units could be washed into the ocean this year. There is a school of thought that we should just let them go, and, you know, there's going to be a time that that may happen. The multi-million dollar question remains, if you can't prevent erosion, how long can you prolong it? Mike Cherry, KITV4 News.